hydrocarbons that are the compounds of hydrogen and carbon which includes alkenes alkenes and alkynes they show some very important reactions known as addition and substitution reactions let's see what these reactions are we'll start with alkenes alkenes show substitution reactions we know in alkenes there are only single covalent bonds each carbon atom forms single covalent bonds with the hydrogen atoms so if we have methane when it reacts with chlorine in the presence of sunlight it forms chloromethane plus hydrogen chloride how does this reaction take place so we have methane that is each carbon atom forms a single covalent bond with the hydrogen atoms and then we have chlorine that is cl bonded to cl now one cl atom replaces one hydrogen atom and takes its place so we get the three hydrogen atoms remain in place one hydrogen atom is replaced by chlorine so we get a cl here and this hydrogen goes and forms hcl so this way the alkanes give the substitution reactions since they have only single covalent bonds so the atoms that is the hydrogen atoms can be replaced by another atoms now this chloromethane let's continue the reaction with chlorine so we have chloromethane it again reacts with chlorine and again one chlorine atom replaces one hydrogen atom so we get dichloromethane that is two chlorines so we get a dichloromethane plus hydrogen chloride now if this dichloromethane further reacts with chlorine since there are two hydrogens in this again one hydrogen atom is replaced by a chlorine atom so we get trichloromethane which is also known as chloroform and also a molecule of hydrogen chloride is formed now this trichloromethane is further made to react with chlorine since there is still one hydrogen left one chlorine atom replaces this hydrogen atom so it forms tetrachloromethane and a molecule of hydrogen chloride now if you see this tetrachloromethane all the four positions are taken up by the chlorine atoms there is no more hydrogen atom to be replaced so the reaction that is the substitution reaction stops at this step so the substitution reaction continues as long as there is a hydrogen atom to be replaced by some other atom so this is how all the alkanes give the substitution reactions let's take ethane when ethane is made to react with chlorine first one hydrogen atom is replaced by a chlorine atom so it forms c2h5cl plus hcl and this process continues step by step each time one hydrogen atom is replaced by a chlorine atom so from c2h5cl it forms c2h4cl2 now this c2h4cl2 when that reacts with chlorine again one hydrogen atom is replaced so it forms c2h3cl3 this c2h3cl3 further reacts so we get c2h2cl4 further we get c2hcl5 and finally we get c2cl6 now at this step you see there is no more hydrogen atom to be replaced by a chlorine atom so the substitution reaction stops at this step so the final product of the substitution of ethane by chlorine is c2cl6 alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons they give the addition reactions this is because all unsaturated hydrocarbons they tend to become saturated let's see how they do that so let's start with the first alkene that is ethene it is an unsaturated hydrocarbon we know all unsaturated hydrocarbons they tend to become saturated so when ethene reacts with chlorine the reaction takes place in this manner that is it forms ch2 the first chlorine atom attaches itself to the first carbon atom it does not replace any hydrogen atom the second chlorine atom attaches itself to the second carbon atom in this case you observe that the two chlorine atoms they add to the ethene molecule so this is done by changing the double bond of ethene to a single bond 
since each carbon atom has to satisfy its tetravalency so it has to form four covalent bonds so in this case when ethene reacts with chlorine the chlorine atoms add to the ethene molecule and this is done by changing the double bond of ethene to a single bond and when the chlorine atoms are adding to the ethene molecule you observe they are not replacing any hydrogen atom in ethene we have four hydrogen atoms two hydrogen atoms attached to the first carbon atom and two attached to the second carbon atom so the four hydrogen atoms they remain intact so when ethene is reacting with chlorine the two chlorine atoms they are attaching themselves to the two carbon atoms so the unsaturated ethene is converted into a saturated product by the addition reaction now in this case it forms c2h4cl2 now this is a saturated product like in alkenes we know the saturated product gives the substitution reactions so from this step onwards we get the substitution reactions one the, once the unsaturated hydrocarbon is converted into a saturated product now from this stage onwards we get the substitution reactions so when we have c2h4cl2 this reacts with chlorine it forms c2h3cl3 one chlorine atom replaces one hydrogen atom and so on it goes on till there is no more hydrogen atom to be replaced so the final product still remains c2cl6 so all the unsaturated hydrocarbons they tend to become saturated and this is done by addition reactions let's take another example we have ethene this time it reacts with bromine so now again addition reaction takes place it is not replacing any hydrogen atom the bromine atoms they attach to the carbon atoms by the addition reactions so when ethene reacts with bromine it forms the saturated product now when ethene reacts with hydrogen in the presence of a catalyst nickel at 200 degree celsius it forms ethene how is this reaction taking place is the same addition reaction now when there is ethene reacting with a hydrogen molecule again addition reaction takes place so the double bond changes into the single bond and the hydrogen atoms they attach themselves to the carbon atoms so this is c2 h 6 so from ethene we get ethane by the addition reaction let's take the example of ethene reacting with water water is made up of h plus oh so the hydrogen atom attaches itself to one carbon atom and the oh of water attaches itself to another carbon atom and this product is ethanol because if we count this is c2 then we have 1 2 3 4 5 and oh c2h5 oh which is ethanol so when ethene reacts with water the h of water goes and attaches to one carbon atom and the oh atta attaches itself to another carbon atom similarly we have the addition reaction when ethene reacts with hydrogen chloride the h of hcl attaches itself to one carbon atom and the cl of hcl attaches itself to another carbon atom by the addition reaction so the unsaturated hydrocarbon gets converted into the saturated product alkenes give addition reactions is it true or false we know in alkenes there are only single covalent bonds it is already a saturated hydrocarbon so all alkenes they give the substitution reactions that is the hydrogen atom of the alkene can be replaced by some another atom that is why the alkenes they give the substitution reactions
so alkenes do not give the addition reactions so this statement is false now let's move over to alkynes we know alkynes are also unsaturated hydrocarbons in alkynes we have triple covalent bonds since they are also unsaturated hydrocarbons they also tend to form saturated products let's see how do they do that so we start with ethyne again let's react ethyne with chlorine this happens in two steps first the triple bond converts into a double bond and then the double bond becomes a single bond so from the unsaturated alkyne to form the saturated product we first change the alkyne to an alkene and then the alkene changes into an alkene so when we have ethyne first one chlorine atom gets attached to one carbon atom the triple bond gets converted into a double bond when each chlorine atom is attached to the two carbon atoms the triple bond breaks into a double bond again the hydrogen atoms are not being replaced it's only an addition reaction in which the chlorine atoms are attaching itself to the carbon atoms now when we form the alkene again when it is made to react with chlorine so this time the double bond breaks into the single bond so from the unsaturated alkyne when we get the saturated product it happens in two steps from the alkyne we first change it into an alkene that is the triple bond first breaks into the double bond and then the double bond breaks into the single bond let's take another example this time ethyne is reacting with bromine this also happens in two steps first the triple bond is converted into a double bond so the alkyne first forms an alkene and in the second step the double bond breaks into a single bond so the saturation of an alkyne takes place in two steps let's take the hydrogenation of ethyne so we have a triple bond the triple bond first breaks into a double bond so from ethyne we get ethene so when ethyne reacts with hydrogen in the first step it forms ethene and in the second step this ethene on further reaction with hydrogen it forms ethane as the double bond breaks into the single bond we get ethane from ethene so the hydrogenation of ethyne first gives us ethene and then the ethene gets converted into ethane let's take the addition of hcl to ethyne so in the first step like in all cases the triple bond changes into the double bond the h of hcl attaches itself to one carbon atom the cl attaches itself to another carbon atom now when this is further made to react with hcl the h of hcl attaches itself to the carbon atom the double bond breaks into the single bond and the cl of hcl attaches itself to another carbon atom so in two steps the triple bond breaks into the single bond so we have seen that all the alkenes they show the substitution reactions this is because in alkenes there are only single covalent bonds so the hydrogen atoms of alkenes can be easily substituted by some other atoms that is why the alkenes show the substitution reactions all unsaturated compounds they tend to become saturated 
and they do that by addition reactions and this is the reason why alkenes and alkynes those are unsaturated hydrocarbons so to become saturated they show the addition reactions